Welcome back. Today we're going to show how we prepare some of our mixing solutions for use with calibrating our sensors. I've shown you some of the calibration of the sensors itself to this point, but not the preparation of some of the solutions that we use with the sensors. So today I'm going to show you a couple. Uh, the first one is our copper chloride, and we have Sigma as our chemical. This is copper chloride dihydrate and this is a bluish crystal powder and in order to make 0.1 molar again this is basic chemistry but we would start with the calculation of one molar of anything and get a formulaic weight for one liter of solution. So we're going to use a tenth of that concentration and because we're only going to use 20 milliliters of volume we dilute accordingly. So, I've got my little pad here, but uh, to make 1.1 molar copper chloride, what we do is we're going to dissolve 0.336 grams of copper chloride dihydrate in 20 milliliters of water. So, I've got the balance, and I'm going to take a little tray and zero out the tray until it reads zero. And then, open this, and of course always use gloves no matter what you're working with as a standard practice. So, just take a little bit here, so it's 0.15. And we're at point three three five one, which is close enough because we're three significant figures. So let's close this. vial here which I have a black mark because we use these frequently to indicate where the 20 milliliter mark is. So I'm just going to put this in here. Then I have a little 10 milliliter graduated cylinder here. So I'm going to do this in two steps. I will fill this 10 milliliters full first. And again, making sure that the volume is at the bottom of the 10 line mark, which is, you want the meniscus, which is the end of the curvature, right there. Want to dissolve it a little bit first. Again, kind of a standard practice with chemicals is you want to dissolve it as much as you can with your volume because things don't mix one to one all the time so the right way to do this is to dissolve as much as you can then when it's dissolved you bring the final volume to your desired standard whatever it happens to be in this case it's 20 milliliters so So now we have 20 milliliters of 0.1 molar copper chloride and now this can be used to calibrate any of our nitric oxide microsensors. 